Hello and welcome to Minikun's Health Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export, save or transform a database, a data frame or any object in R into CSV or Excel format. So sometimes what's the problem or the headache comes when we create, uh, I mean, certain objects, and then or um, sometimes we import a data set, and then during our analysis, we might have added some extra information. For instance, we've added other variables or other important information to the data set, or sometimes we even uh, we may even want to save our results. For instance, we've created tables, or sometimes we've uh, we we just we are just interested in saving our results or maybe our data set or data frame or any object in R and it becomes a lot of headache because when you save this uh, first of all when you write on the script you can save the script afterwards but when you write on the console straight away you cannot save this the console and then this becomes a problem and one thing is even if we save the script in the form of let's say it will be an R file and then just imagine we want to maybe do other uh, descriptive analysis on our data or on our results or maybe interpret or even send it to a friend in the form of Excel it wouldn't work because if we should send the file in the form of R or in R format to somebody, the fellow cannot open it if he's not using R. So sometimes we prefer working with Excel or even we may want to save it in the form of CSV so that later on when we want to import it on R, we don't even suffer. We want to put it, to save it completely in Excel format. So I'm going to show you how to do it in just a few minutes. First of all, we will try to save the data set or data frame or any object of our choice from the console in csv format and then after that i would show you how to transform the csv format into excel so without wasting my time let's assume i want to save this this is the object i want to save this is actually a data set that I've, I, I i worked on and after that i added another variable so i want to resave this data set in the form of excel or csv format and then I will show you how to do it. So this could have been results, analysis results, or anything at all that we have obtained on my console. It's very simple. The most important thing is to name it, give it an object, like as a name. You could have kept your name, you have written your name, you know how it's done. So I named it this as DC France. Like, I don't know, I wouldn't go into the details, just a name. So we, all we need to do is to name your object. So I'm going to copy this and then I'll come to the script. We have the choice. I could have continued. I can continue writing on the console, even though I've en enlarged it. I can continue to write on the console, but I'm not, um, I will write on the script. Then after that, I will, I prefer writing on the script because after that I can save my script for future use. So the command is very simple to uh, save or export any object from R. It's as simple as this. It's, remember when you are trying to import, you are telling R to read the file, to read the nature of the file in order to import it. That's why we say read.table, read.csv, and what have you. Right now, when you want to export, you have to tell it to write. In that case, it's R that is going to write the data that you are exporting. So the command is as follows, or the algorithm is just as follows. You write write the table, and then into brackets, you're going to open quotation marks. Then you would, first of all, even before the quotation marks, write the table you are you, if you want to for more information on that you can check write the table for help on this maybe if you want to know to much about this 
commands you just we could execute it so that you see how it is so the first thing we need to put after write dot table is the name of our object that we just sorry i've copied this okay let me go back so i will come back here and then the object that i want to save so I just copy it Control c or you can right click and click on copy now come back to r write dot table then you place it here so after that you put comma and then you now write the full the file extension or in other words the where do you where you want to save your file in the form of csv or excel so first of all i would show you a very simple way of getting the the location your file location where you want to save it wherever you want to save you could save it in any disk of your choice i want to save it on the desktop so but sometimes you cannot is i you might not be able to know like the location your desktop let's say the extension for your desktop so i would show you how to do it you just right click on anything on the desktop where you want to save it right click on any file and then you click on properties when you click on properties you would see right here the location my pc is in french sorry for that but as you can see there is location here or you can click on security to copy the full file extension but that will come with a name we don't want the name so we just copy only the location which is this that's okay assuming you you were to do this on a particular disk of your pc let's assume the file is in this disk i will show you from the file is in this disk let me click on maybe school and then i will say maybe m then I, maybe i wanted to uh, put it in this particular location or this i'll just click on this right click as you can see properties and there it is this is the location if i don't want this then i i think this clear so let me close this so all that i need is this i'll copy the lo location and then i'll come back to r sorry i'm opening edge they resemble a lot so i'll come back to r and then i'll paste this but before i paste it i have to put it in inverted column quotation marks i don't know so we paste it there and then you turn this either you put two of the slashes the backslashes or you put a single normal slash like this slash slash then after you've kept the slashes you you put another slash and then you write the name of your the name of the object or the data frame or the data set or the database that you or even the results that you you want to save the name of the object that you assign to your your data so in our case i'll just write tutorial tutorial today's tutorial for example and then i'll put dot after the dot i'll write the the nature of the file so we want to save it in the form of csv first of all and after that i'll show you how to transform the csv file into excel so i'll write csv then i'll put comma right now another important thing is to put the separation since we are saving the form of csv the separation is comma that's comma separated file so separation is equal to comma and after this we put comma again sorry and then we would now write the what do we call it another important algorithm and that will be that uh, row dot names let me come down i don't want to exceed okay so i would say row dot names is equal to false i'll tell you why simply because when we say true a row dot names is equal to true what happens is that the file will be saved with these numbers here 
sorry these numbers here sorry for the interruption so because we don't want the file to be saved with these numbers here because these numbers as i said they are the they are the default uh, row names when you have your data set automatically r assigns uh, these numbers as your row names or numbers so in order to exclude these numbers so that at the end of the day r will just uh, i mean save our data set as it is so that at the end of the day the column for regions will become the names of our data set you know that's how we, we presume we don't want these numbers to appear simply so because of that we have to add uh, row dot names is equal to false so that to, we can get rid of those numbers and we just get only our data set as we want it maybe i should extend this the script a little bit and send this so that you can have a look at the full command so let me execute this then so if i should run this as you can see our command has been sorry here it is it's already done it hasn't given me any error or mistake so what that means is that automatically our file will be saved or this data set that i've just shown you will be saved on the desktop in the form of this data set here that we just saved will be saved or the whole of this uh, particular data set it could have been your results any object at all you assign to uh, your, your your work you can save it that's what we've kept here as r is the name of the object and that's it. so if you go to the desktop as i speak you'll find tutorial there as our file which will contain this data by the form of csv let's check that out so let me minimize this let me close these two and as you can see here's tutorial if i should open it you realize that this is a csv file then it has for instance the regions the ages and what have you and it's separated by comma that's why we say csv comma separated file so if we want to import this again into r this wouldn't be any of a headache but this not we cannot in excel we cannot work with this as excel file so i'll show you how to import or rewrite this into pure excel format it's as follows but before then let me okay let me remind you again of the formula all that we did was the command is just this for more information just write a uh, question mark write the table sorry write the table and then it will give you the what do we call it it will give you the the the, the, the steps to follow in writing the algorithm so it's just simple if you want maybe we could execute the, but there's no need if you want more help this is just a thing so the first x is the name of the object if you want let me execute this all the same so that you see how it is if i should run this as you can see this is what how it is x here is our object as i said this could be an object it could be a data frame it could be uh, it could be even your results anything at all it's just a matter of naming it and then there are other things that you may need to put it's not very important so just follow this so this is the name of the object or the data set or the data frame or whatever it is this is the file extension that i, sh I showed you how to get it from the desktop or wherever you want to save your file this separation is to show that like uh, this uh, what should i say the comma because csv then it's a comma separated file so the separation has to be comma and after that 
in order to ignore these rows these uh, row names or numbers you have to say row names is equal to false and that's okay so right now let's come back to our csv file how do we now rewrite this sorry how do we now rewrite this into a and the normal excel format what we do is that we import this into excel and then it will come in the form of normal excel file remember our file is still on the desktop so we have the choice we could either open afresh a, a new excel files where we do the importation or we could do it on the same file if you want maybe on the same file just open a new uh, fresh page as it is then we click on data and you click on data at the left hand side you see from text so we have to import our csv file in the form of a text file so we click on import from from text then we saved our csv file on the desktop so we click on desktop and this tutorial let me import it in the importation process make sure delimited when this dialog box box opens make sure delimited is checked because these are delimited files delimited by, by comma in this case csv so you click on next and then you see that by default uh, excel checked tab but our that our, our what do we call it our file is not separated by tabs but rather by comma that's sorry that's a csv file so we click on comma and then automatically you can see our, our data set is already presented here as if as in the excel form so we click on next and then we say finish it's talking about the location we can change it let's put it at the right place somewhere here then we click back here we say okay here it is let me enlarge it a little bit as you can see we have the regions we have the ages as it is with a group number and what have you if we should compare it with our original data on the console you know we had this the last variable h this the regions and this everything is, has been imported into we first we saved it in the form of a csv file on the desktop here it is and then we imported it into uh, what do we call it into excel once again by clicking on data clicking on uh, from uh, what do we call it from text and then the importation has been done right now we can save this into a normal excel file on the desktop for example then you change this from csv to excel and put it on the desktop boom it's gone you go to the desktop and then this is our tutorial this is the csv file all or, or what should i say both came from the R object that we just saved. So please remember the formula write the table, then after that you put the name of your object on R, that's this one here, sorry, or any object that you've assigned to your data or resource or data frame or data set, whatever it is. Then you put the file extension of where, you, sorry. You put the file extension of where you want to save the file on a desktop for example so i showed you how to do it and after that you say row names equal to false so i wouldn't add these numbers thank you so much for watching and i hope that you found this video helpful please remember to subscribe to my channel so that anytime i post a new video you'll be notified Bye.